All right, so here we have a brand new motor from Racer Star. This one's the BR1707S 3700 kV green edition. Uh, so I saw this one over at uh, Banggood and it caught my attention simply because of the size, the stator size 1707. Uh, so I thought it would be a good one to check out and uh, put it on the thrust stand and see how it compares to all the other motors of similar size like the 1806 and the 1407 and 1507 and also the 1408 so uh, similar KV 3700 has those uh, 1507s and 1407s so so it's kind of interesting to see how these larger stator would uh, would do so it comes in the usual orange box from uh, Racer Star uh, simple simply package uh, this comes in bubble wrap and they give you just a set of uh, two millimeter mounting screws. Uh, these are quite short, so probably for it uh, looks like for two millimeter arms. Uh, so, the usual design on the Racer Star motor, they're still sticking with the conventional format on the armature, so a full base, and they are going with a one piece shaft, and these are supposed to be. Uh, stainless steels don't know if it's actually hardened steel they don't mention too much about that on the website but yeah it is stainless there's as you can see it's not magnetic uh, hopefully it is hardened so but for these sizes there's no way that's gonna bend anyways uh, still using a circlip there to retain the shaft pretty short motor leads these are about 75 millimeters which they gave uh, at least 100 so you can reach most mid-mounted ESCs I just give us a little bit more wire so when we're building uh, with these motors we don't have to splice in more wire which is it's kind of dumb to have to add uh, extra 10 or 20 millimeters of wire so we'll see what it weighs with that much wire and that comes in at 23.5 so kind of a heavy motor for that size it's about the same as a 2204 uh, so it's going to be interesting to see how it compares to a 2204 like the one I just tested, the RCX motor. I suspect the uh, 2204 will do better, but still going to be interesting to see how, how this works. So it's going to be interesting to see how this motor compares as far as performance with uh, other size motors like the 1608, the 1806 and the 2204. Uh, so here we have a sort of a quick calculation uh, of stator volume. Now this is not the accurate way to calculate the copper and steel that's on the stator because there's more dimensions that you would need to include in order to have a more accurate calculation. So this is just a quick way of doing it just to show you more or less comparing the sizes of the different stators. Of course there's the hole where the shaft goes through so depending on what bearing you have uh, that's the size of the actual iron and copper in the stator but anyway I'm not including those dimensions uh, so basically the volume of a cylinder uh, pi r square times the height on the 1608 it comes out to 1608 on the 1707 it comes up to um, 1588 so pretty close to the 1608 uh, and on the 1806 is 1526 so the 1707 is a little bit more and on the 2204, surprisingly, it's the smaller of these motors. So that's that's uh, quite uh, interesting that the 2204 has the smallest uh, overall volume as far as the cylinder. But uh, as I mentioned, uh, that's not a detailed comparison of the different sizes. There's, there's more to it. But this is just as far as the, the volume of the cylinder. So it's kind of interesting to see that the 1608 is the largest and uh, as you if you recall I did uh, test the 1608 from Brother Hobby. That's a motor that hasn't caught up that much yet uh, but it's it's out there it's hard to get so we'll see you we have a chance to compare uh, results from this motor uh, you can go and uh, search on my channel uh, I do have the 1608 results I also have some 1806 2750 kV I believe or 2900 kV I forget from Brother Javi uh, so and also from T motor I have the the F 
uh, I believe this is the F-30 I tested. I think those are, I want to say those are 2700 or 2800 kV, I forget. And of course the 2204, I recently tested the RCX uh, 2700, 2900 kV. Uh, 2204, 2400, and also the Hyperlight, uh, the 3022 kV. So that would be a good comparison. Uh, but my best guess is that the 2204 is it's going to be uh, one of the better motors, and possibly this one, the 1608, is probably uh, uh, one of the better motors compared to these two right here. So anyway, just wanted to mention that in case you're curious to see comparisons, just go ahead and pull those thrust uh, results from these videos. And so here's uh, just for size comparison, here's the 2204 from RCX. And that's the 1707. So you can see uh, the 1707 is quite taller. And the diameter, of course, the 2204 is going to be a little bit bigger. And as you saw, the, the weight on the 1707 uh, it's a little bit on the piggy side, so 23 of 23.5, and the 2204, of course, this has twice as much wire. So even with that much wire, uh, 25.6, but that's about about a gram and a half to two grams of, of wire. Uh, I forget what it weighed, I think it was like 23.5 or something on the on the recent review. Uh, there you can see they're almost identical weight. So basically almost identical. This should be about 23.5 I think, to almost 24. So, so pretty similar weight for these two. Uh, so it's gonna be interesting to see which one has the better power so that's something to check out, you know, uh, go back and check uh, those results for uh, the 2204. Uh, so here's more or less a size comparison between the different uh, motor size formats. Here's the 2204, the 1707, uh, this one's the Racer Star 1507, and that's the Brother Hobby 1507, and the Sunny Sky 1408. So I thought that'd be interesting to see just how they look next to each other so uh, the 1707 is uh, looks a little bit uh, chunky so so just thought it'd be interesting to see all right uh, i'm gonna pull out this uh, circlip and uh, take uh, the motor apart and just just check it out see how it is uh, how the stator is and how the magnets look uh, so here's the stator and uh, the windings are not exactly neat, but that really doesn't matter. That doesn't make a difference as far as uh, making power in a motor. What really matters is the amount of copper that you're able to put into the, the stator. So as you can see here, because they went with the 3 millimeter shaft, uh, the bearing of course has to be 8 by 3 by 3. Uh, so that takes a lot of space here. Uh, so the, the coils are rather short. As you can see here, pretty short coils. Uh, so that uh, doesn't allow for more copper uh, per turn because it's basically the number of turns what determines the KV. So if you're able to to put in more copper per turn, uh, I believe that's one of the main factors that determines the power output of a motor. So you can see here compared to even the uh, this one's the 1507 Racer Star which I'm gonna be testing and reviewing uh, pretty soon uh, here you can see the difference in the in the length of the stator coils uh, here you can see it's uh, for that size of motor it's actually just a little bit longer and of course this one's a different configuration this one is uh, 12N 14P and this one is 9N 12P so it's got fewer uh, coils, number of coils uh, so there you can see basically that that's the what I was talking about earlier the cylinder volume 
so this one is supposed to be more than the 15 or s than the uh, than the 2204 but you can see that the 2204 may in fact have more copper than the 1707 even though the 1707 is a lot taller of course almost twice as much but I'm almost willing to bet that this one has more copper and that's where the biggest difference in performance is going to manifest uh, between these two motors it's going to be interesting to see how this one does uh, just from looking at that stator mm, I don't have uh, high expectations for these motors but we'll see uh, so the stator is supposed to be 7 millimeters in height so let's uh, get a quick measurement there uh, so yeah that's about 7 millimeters and uh, they're using pretty thin laminations they almost look like 0.15 millimeters uh, interesting so beefy shaft for that uh, uh, so that, that that's gonna be pretty strong and with a nice uh, rather big bearing for this size and uh, magnets as you can see they're just standard magnets I uh, don't know what grade of magnet stores are, they don't mention it on the product page. Quite a lot of uh, balancing mud right there, but better to have a balance. So as far as sturdiness, I mean it does, it, this motor should be quite strong I think with the 3mm shaft and the uh, big bearing for this size. So let's put this together and this is a full base so it's kind of hard to see the gap between the stator and the magnet uh, what they call the air gap so but anyway there it is it's a little bit on the loose side I think so that does that does uh, affect the performance and smoothness of the motor so if you have if you have it too close then sometimes uh, that creates a lot of uh, noise feedback but if it's too loose then you'll be down on power so it's a compromise anyway so we'll put this on the thrust stand and see how it performs Alright, so let's look at the thrust test results for the Racer Star BR1707S 3700kV. As you saw, the motor came in uh, almost right on spot at 3710kV as measured by the thrust stand. Uh, so I went ahead and tested on 3S and 4S. So I stayed with the 4 inch props because of the motor size. Uh, I don't think this motor would be a good match for 3 inch, it's just too big. The 1407s and 1408s, I think, are much better for a 3 inch prop. Uh, so, 4 inch props, Gen Fan Flash 4052, making 807 grams. So, good thrust there at a uh, little bit too high amps, I think. Uh, it's using a little bit too much power to make this thrust uh, for that size motor. I actually expected it to be a little bit more efficient than that. Then onto the 4 inch blade. I thought it'd be interesting to see how this motor matches with the 4 inch 4 blade prop. So 814 
uh, not too bad at 34 amps so okay match uh, we have to keep in mind that these amps are burst and as the prop move through the air they're gonna unload so the amps are gonna come down somewhere around 35 to 40 percent uh, next prop is the uh, 4040 by 3 831 uh, so pretty consistent numbers here at 31 amps then onto the 4043 by 3 v1s from hq 838 uh, that's a little bit more efficient than these other props so 26.5 uh, then the 4045 by 3 v2 865 at 28 amps so that's another good prop and then i just threw in the 5 inch just to see what the motor can do as far as uh, its capabilities not because this prop is going to be a good match with this motor i throw it in there just to see what the motor is capable of uh, just to see how much it'll make a 968 at 28 amps so a little bit low compared to other motors i've tested smaller motors even so overall it looks like this motor is almost as powerful as some of the 1507s that i tested uh, recently like the one from brother hobby and very close to the BR1507 3600KV uh, from Racer Star. Uh, that one I haven't uploaded the video yet, but I got the results on that one already. I just have to put it together. So it's pretty close to that motor too. Just a little bit more efficient, but very close. So I was expecting a little bit better performance out of this motor uh, based on its size. Uh, it should have been a little bit better than the 1507s and 1508s, but it's very close to those. So somewhat lackluster performance, but then if we consider the price, then it uh, doesn't seem all that bad. But still, for the size and the weight of the motor, it, it should have done much better. But as we saw from the teardown, it's got some disadvantages uh, on the stator. As we saw, the uh, coils are somewhat small compared to other motors. I think that's one of the reasons why the motor is not performing well. Also, the air gap uh, is a little bit too wide. So that's what uh, factors into the performance of the motor. So I think there's actually better choices than uh, this motor. So this 1707 doesn't seem that it's going to perform much better than the 1507s and even some of the 1407s. For the weight, I would say a 2204, it's probably a better choice if you're going to run 4 inch props. And for 3 inch props, the 1507 and 1407 is a better match. So we'll see what people say when they start using it, what they think about it. But my best guess is that it's not going to be outstanding. It'll fly okay, but nothing to write home about. Uh, so there you go. Hope you find the data useful. And thank you for watching the video. And until the next one.